gave his life to Easter of Kalika. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna in the Lord is Shiva Radhika. But we cannot attain that group of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was also tasting the mood of the assistance of Shimadi Sometimes he would dream that he was seeing Radha and Krishna dancing together in the Rasha dance. Not that he was dancing with Krishna, but he was seeing Radha and Krishna dancing together in the Rasha dance. When it is described in Chaitanya Charitamrita how the body of Mahaprabhu was undergoing an extraordinary transformation, sometimes becoming like a tortoise or withdrawn into his body, his limbs. Other times very elongated, like when he jumped into the ocean, thinking that this is Jamuna. So that time he described, when he came back to his normal consciousness, he described how he was seeing the water pass and to run out Krishna together. Another time, when he was running towards the sand dream, singing his yoga and he became totally ecstatic. And afterwards he described how he saw Radha and Krishna. He was picking flowers with other sakis and Radha and Krishna went into a cave. So he was also tasting my dream heart. This is the speciality of our mind. Once Sri Gurudev, he was asking the devotees, he was blessing the devotees, I give you the best things for today, you can get the highest goal. What is this? So one devotee said, Oh, my Sri a word at the wall. And then someone else said, Radhaya Dasha. Ah, Radhaya Dasha. Because there's so many mantras. So many sakis have mantras. But the speciality in our mind is to become Radhaya Dasha. Radhaya Dasha means to search like a life so closely, like almost part of her body, part of her personality, not almost part of her personality, part of her personality actually. Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pradhikavata Istari Yehim Jaluta Yakalati. So this mood is in Tanya Mahaprabhu came Not personally, but through his associates, especially the six of Sami Sarachai, the Nara Kachirin Tirak Karanaya Matir Namakalo, Samara Yitamunda Kotanara Rasa, the Bhaktisya. She would read that as explained so many times. What is it that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give, which has not been given in so long? Sabakti Sri, Kunda Tokshadarash. Sabakti Sri. Kunda Tokshadarash is Madhuras. Madhuras is Sakiras Parakiras. And in Parakiras, which is found basically in Onion Brush, there's Sambhogi Samadhi and Tatatabhi Samadhi. Sandhogi Samadhi means devotees want to meet with Krishna directly, serve Krishna directly as the servants. See, the Rukhma Sami warns us that if we have this desire, then we may end up in Dwarak. Because we have to follow the servants, not to one of them, like Dali Vrishaka and so on. So this is Sandhogi Samadhi. Desire to meet with Krishna and Tatabhi Samadhi means to desire to have the moods of Shivani Radhika. Serving Radha and Krishna together and tasting the moods of Shivani Radhika which he meets with Krishna. Not desiring to meet with Krishna directly. This is the speciality of our body and life coming from Shivrupa Goswami and Shri Krishna's Karaj Goswami and Arachai all. All our acharyas in this book. See the Saraswati Prabhupada, he is given his speciality. We've been hearing about the mood of Siddhavak Brigand Krishna Maharaj. Why he installed Dolphin Krishna, Radha Lingita Ligula. Either Krishna is in separation from Shivati Radhika, like in Imita next door, remembering Shivati Radhika, or he, he is covered by the golden luster when they're so closely, tightly embracing after his resolve for the man, and then in, she's in Sadina Bhakshika mood, that she subdued the hero, and the hero is now. Uh, serving her very submissively 
and she is in ecstasy and the mood has come so close together. So this is the mood of the Sarshki Brahma. It's the mood of the Bhakti Pradyakis Goswami Maharaj also. He's given. And to our Siva Gurudev. So Siva Gurudev, hmm. he's emphasized very closely the association with the Buddha. My Guru Maharaj, he went to America in 1965 to establish his So his mission was to establish a mission for many people, like when an army invades, like when the Allies invaded France, Normandy. Uh, so they had to make a peace They isolated, identified a particular place, concentrated all the forces there, and then they established their base there, <coughs> subdue all the enemies, and then from there spreading out. Like the Americans and the Allies, they spread all over France very quickly after the Normandy invasion. So Sri Prabhupada, he made a beachhead in America. And his goal was to establish an organization which could spread all over the world. So he emphasized, although the devotees, especially in the beginning, they had a very, very close affectionate relationship with them. So close that after the movement became established, those devotees who had known Mike Sri Prabhupada in those days, they became disappointed many of them left. Because the of the association in the institution was not the same as the movement they had not associated with it. But he didn't really exercise this forming of movement. Our Srimad Gurudev has rather emphasized the association, the relationship with the universe. So in a sense, he's given a new definition of Srimad Bhakti. What is Srimad Bhakti? Srimad Bhakti means taking shelter of Srimad Sama. What is Srimad Bhakti? Srimad Bhakti. My Guru Maharaj is explaining, and Guru Dev is explaining also, especially it means one who is serving Radha Krishna in Brahma. This is Shri Bhakti. And Shri Bhakti, Shri Bhakti means taking shelter of that Guru Bhakti. My Guru Dev is explaining, we may be performing some of the traditional smarana, all nine limbs of Bhakti, as Shri Prahlad Maharaj is explained. But what she said again, we have to surrender, performing these limbs of Bhakti, but surrendering. Surrendering to whom? Surrendering to a pure devotee. Surrendering to Graj Rashi, Tantagya, Uttam Bhakti. Then it's Sarupsida Bhakti. Otherwise, Arupsida Bhakti. So, Gurudev is so much emphasized. This relationship with the pure devotee. We can perform so much devotional service, but if we're not satisfying the pure devotee, that devotional service will not be effective, or it will not be as effective. He's emphasized this so much. And our speaker that he's, he's established International Pure Bhakti Yoga Society. Pure Bhakti Yoga. Yoga means what? Meaning. So we have to meet. It means when we're chanting, when we're practicing, we have to meet. Our Acharya is not giving us ritual. They're giving us activities. How we hear, how we chant, how we remember, how we offer the shop, how we worship the feet in the temple, how we associate, how we perform our services. All of this should be your meeting and meeting. First of all, we're meeting with the Spiritual master, Yasya Devi Parabhakti, Yasya Yitha Devi Tathabhya. Our business is what? To perform Parabhakti to the Lord, Deva. Yitha Devi Tathabhya. As to Krishna, so to the spiritual master. And Srila Gurudev has explained that as Guru Nishka is the backbone of Bhakti, and Krishna Bhakti begins with Guru Bhakti. So, International Pure Bhakti Yoga Society means surrendering in this way. What are the functions? What are the 
characteristic functions of our society to the relative plane. He said our motto should be Prema makes Prima. Why? Because it's explained, insulate and hines, malicious, and deceptive. Majumatica is recognized for personality, insula, supreme law. That in the history, his devotees, unexpected, innocent, and deceptive. The enemies. And then it's all different ways of relating. Prema, mind, street, people, okay. Yakarobi, Samadhi. So this is the Saru of our society. The root of our society is not how we're organized, but the root of our society is the functions that we perform. What are these functions? Anyami Lash Kusunyam, Gama Kamani Nam, Anuya Krishna Siddha Bhaktivinoda, towards the Supreme Lord. Associated with the devotees, in friendship, love, she heard that in space, three kinds of devotees, very senior and equal and junior, not to relate with them. Very soon, There'll be a very beautiful book of Shiva instructions on how to relate, how devotees relate with each other. What does it mean to be humble? What does it mean to support each other? This is from our very soul. And then, mercy to the innocent. Means what? Giving them, sharing what we have. Sometimes devotees think that, oh, I should perform bhajan, and preaching is just embellishing your bhajan. No need to perform bhajan until it's fully mature. But she and explained that actually we should preach from the beginning, we should share, we should be fortunate. He said if you don't share this good fortune, then you're selfish. So in order to satisfy the innermost part of the devotee, we have to worship Radha Krishna the Lord that he's given. Following Siddhartha Swami, Rupa Swami wrote Mantra in our chapters. We have to associate with the devotees in the way that he's explained. And we have to share our good fortune wisely with those who are innocent. Not immediately telling them about Radha Krishna and how Krishna and how Krishna actually grows. How Krishna is a free natural truth, he's a blue boy, a place on the flute, he dances at night with the wives of others. No. But sharing the words of Sita Tanya Mahaprabhu, explaining. By giving a basis, like my Guru Maharaj, she gave a basis, a foundation. And Guru Dei said, I'm dancing on that foundation. Is Guru Dei serving my Guru Maharaj? Or is my Guru Maharaj serving Guru Dei? I honestly don't know. Anyway, they're together, like Guru Sanat, like two arms of our, many arms of our current Guru Dei. So this way we have to practice Prema Maitri Kripa, and this way we can fulfill the intrinsic nature, the intrinsic function of our international Pure Bhakti Society, Pure Bhakti Yoga Society. Hare Krishna, Vansha Kala, Vansha Kala,
इसलिए हमारे भक्त लोग हजार रुपया देखिएगा जब शायद सारा दुनिया का लोग को देखने में एक जब हमारे भक्तों को देखो बात कोई चोरी लगा रखा कोई किला रखे कैटी पता नहीं उनको लगता है कि अद्भुत आदमी कोई सब लोग जाने के भक्त बनाए तो लगता है कोई एक अद्भुत आदमी कहाँ से आ गया सब लोग आलम ड्रेस आग बाग हर चीज में कहीं भी आओ लगता है कि एक अद्भुत आदमी कहाँ से आ गया है इसलिए कुछ लोगों का कहना है ये भगवत भक्ति ये संपूर्ण एक मात्र घर से अलग बना किया गया बना किया इसलिए कुछ कुछ लोगों का कहना है हाँ इसलिए लेकिन तब तो तो ये नहीं ये उसी तरह का नहीं ये मन मानी नहीं ये दूसरी तरह नहीं लेकिन ये संप्रदाय का मतलब होता है कि संप्रदाय का मतलब होता है सात मतलब सात में जोड़ दी मतलब ठीक ठीक जोड़ दी
ने हमारे भक्ति पर किया सिद्ध के सर्वोच्च स्वामी महाराज जहां पर उन्होंने प्रभु पाद का देश को लेकर के अपना ब्रह्मचारी का देश उन्होंने दे करके प्रभु पाद को वहां से निकाला इसलिए यहां पर प्रचार में जो कष्ट है जो कष्ट है जब ये महापुर का जो भक्त लोग है जब इस जो स्वीकार करते हैं तीन तो भगवत जैसे निकाल के लिए इसलिए श्री प्रभात महाराज कहते हैं प्राय मुक्त प्रहलाद महाराज कह रहे जो घर में चुपचाप बैठे हुए हैं उनका मैं स्वार्थ ही मांगता हूँ क्योंकि अगर नारद जैसे व्यक्ति अगर प्रचार नहीं करते मैं जैसे एक राक्षस बाबा को भजन कर सकता था असंभव का मेरे लिए भजन करके नहीं इसलिए प्राय जब उनका मुक्त कहा मौन चरण के प्रहार से मतलब स्वार्थी लोग रहे इसलिए श्री चैतन महाप्रभु की बात देखिए महाप्रभु दो व्यक्ति को उन्होंने हरिणाम प्रचार करने के लिए भेजा बल्कि इसको किसको बल सुना सुन नितानंद सुना हरिदास आमार आदर्श सर्वत्र प्रचार कर रहा प्रकार देखो ये दोनों आदर्श देश है एक हरिदास आपको उन्हें जो प्रचार कर रहे थे जिनको बाईस बजार में ऐसे प्रचार की गई 